Welcome back. Oil and natural gas losing steam today after seeing their highest prices in years. Natural gas plummeting after Russian President Putin said he would boost supplies to Europe to avoid an energy crisis. Meanwhile, Americans are feeling the pain at the pump. The national average for a gallon of gas hitting $3.22, according to AAA, the highest price since 2014. U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm saying a release from the National Strategic Petroleum Reserve is under consideration. Joining us now, Halima Croft, RBC Capital Markets, Global Head of Commodity Strategy and CBC contributor. Halima, great to see you as always. Thanks so much for, for joining us. Let, let's touch on, first of all, the last 24 hours or, or even really less than that, 12 hours, and, and what exactly has gone on there in, in gas markets, uh, both in, in Europe and here. What, what's your take in terms of whether the worst is behind us on those fronts. I mean, we really just have to see what winter has in store for us. I mean, yes, Vladimir Putin was out essentially saying we'll put more gas through pipelines that go through Ukraine. I mean, they have met their contractual obligations, but they have not exceeded them. And some people thought that was a way that the Russians were trying to get quick approval of Nord Stream 2, which is being held up by the German regulator. I think there is a question mark, however, how much additional gas Russia can really you know, bring to the market if it is a cold winter. I mean, that is really the question mark about are we going to be still short supplies come winter? If it's a warm winter, I think we'll have plenty of gas. It's really a question about what does winter look like because you've had exceptional demand from Asia. You've had real issues with low stockpiles in Europe. You've had issues with increased demand because of issues with wind power. And so I do think we're not out of the woods by any means in terms of the natural gas story for Europe. We just have to wait and see. Is uh, WTI being artificially dragged higher by this uh, gas crisis in Europe, or, or does it make sense that they would both rise together, or, or should they be really trading separately? I mean, the real issue, I think, for oil markets right now is, is there going to be a significant substitution required from oil for power generation? I mean, the CEO of Saudi Aramco was out on Monday saying that overall oil demand had already climbed by 500,000 barrels a day because of gas substitution requirements. And that's why this is a very important issue, actually, for OPEC is are they going to potentially have to change their demand outlook if it is a very cold winter and there is increased demand for oil for gas substitution?